I seen that you and Tony were doing your thing, dog. Like, you guys were in the studio. You know, like, he was producing some shit. I was like, oh, fuck, dog. It's just going to be fucking crazy, dog. You know, and then I look at you, uh, uh, your manager right here, Brought me these CDs, <laughs> and so this is this is a track actually produced by Tony A. the Wizard right here. Yeah, yeah. Is it one song? Oh, two, two songs. Two. Yes. Are they both produced by him? Yes. Okay. So with that said, and people want to know this too, dog. What the fuck happened with you and Tony A. the Wizard, dog? Because I don't see no more pictures. I don't see you guys in the studio no more. I need to know what the fuck happened, dog. Did you guys have a falling out? You know what I mean? Did it, did it, was the vibe not right? Were you moving not in the right direction? Were the contracts, you know what I mean? Like, was there something real small in well, the fine see, print? Um, that's one thing I wanted to actually get at. See, what you guys did today, it was actually the proper steps to take, you know? Uh, because for that very reason was the reason why we had a fallout. You okay. know, it wasn't because, uh, you know, uh, we had like this feud or anything, like this turmoil. It wasn't none of that. You know what I mean? It was yeah. mainly because of business. That at the end of the day, it was business. And we were trying to be dealing with business. But at the, it, it kept uh, transitioning from friendship to business. And then we kind of got it twisted up, you know. And then we just ended up just saying we're, we were just going to take the other route. You know what I mean? Uh, it was, uh, at the end of the day, it was more like a... Uh, it was a business decision, you know? It wasn't as in like, um, cause some people think that it was because of the, his situation with his case or whatever and that, or like little beefs he had on the side, you know? But it was all at the end of the day because of things that he told us and we didn't end up getting completely, you know? Got you. Yeah. Got you. He was trying to pay you an EBT or something, dog? No, 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 no. It was mainly like- um, I'm Just fucking with you, no. Tony. <laughs> We were um, we were just trying to get uh, we were trying to get beats you know uh, tailored a certain way you know yeah. but he didn't have the the he didn't have access to to certain tools for that you know what I mean like the drum machines the the NPCs or whatnot you yeah. know and um, it got to the point where uh, we didn't really know where to go you know there were certain people that he said he had to borrow even the machine from and they were having like little clusters with them you know and it it, it got to the point where that. We, we just decided that, you know what, uh, maybe we just go to another producer, you know what I mean? And he actually took us to, uh, to another one over in Santa Maria. Some people know him as Dominator, you know what I mean? And um, it, it kind of just started spreading out from Tony, you know what I mean? Like, like it was more like Tony was helping us. Like, there, there's no doubt about that, you know what I mean? There, things were connected. But when it came to music, I felt like we could have done a lot more. You, you and Tony. I mean? Yes, yes. But due to the fact that Tony still had his uh, same beat machine from 1988. <laughs> no, well, that's the thing. He didn't have it. You know what I mean? I'm uh, just fucking around. You know? <laughs> if Tony, if you're watching, I'm just playing. You know, we fuck around right here, doggy. You know what I mean? I don't want you fucking, you know what I mean? Coming banging on my door, dog. <laughs> uh, I remember when Tony got in the beef with it. And I, I'll just talk about it because it was kind of funny. Um, and it was interesting, too, because Tony, Tony, when Tony had that beef with that one fat dude, I forget that fool's name, and I'm not going to even say his name. Tony was like, hey, homie, you want this right here? Homie, I'll clear the table out right here. We'll put this live stream, homie, and I'll fucking beat both of your motherfucking asses. <laughs> that shit was fucking comedy. It was funny as fuck, dog. I mean, this is this is uh, 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 kind of like uh, uh, YouTube podcast novellas with all of us, dog. I mean, we all go through these things, and some of them get put to light. Some of them don't, dog. It is what it is. But... So that's, I mean, when you and Tony came together, bro, to make music, I mean, how was the vibe in the studio? Well, it was, it was actually good. It was, uh, he was giving me lessons, little pointers here and there, how to keep improving little, little my sound at least, not my lyrics, you know? Cause one thing that I always had, I always had issues with was my lyrics. You know, I always try to find a, uh, I was always on the journey in order to progress with that, you know? Cause I read poems and they fucking blow me away. You know what I mean? They blow me the fuck away. But then when I read my lyrics, I feel like I know I can do better. But see, what he had told me is that he can't help me with my lyrics. But what he can help me with is my voice, production. You know what I mean? Like my sound in general, you know? And for most people, that would have been it. But I, but I wanted the complete package, you know what I mean? Because I was, I was paying for it, you know what I mean? I was, I was trying to figure out how to progress as an artist. Because that's what I wanted to be. So how does it work, dog? You just, just like... Uh so you said you were paying for it. So you were paying for a service that at the end of the day, you know, it came short of what you were really looking for, so to speak, right? Yeah. I mean, not without yeah. shitting on the homie, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, be, no be, doubt. Yeah, but, I mean, 
so I mean, I I would look at it like this, dog. I would look at it like this, like. You're an, you're an investment, dog. You're an investment. Yes. And in the beginning stages, you don't take money from the investment. We invest the time and we see what it does and then we start figuring shit out, dog. Or, or maybe before that, we'll say, hey, bro, everything, we're just gonna work, dog. We're gonna put in this work, my boy. We're gonna see how it do. We'll put out this one single, you know what I mean? Bop, bop, bop. I mean, if it's a per percentage thing or something like that, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess there's different ways. I don't know the music business more than may, Tony may, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, I, my, just off off the cuff, dog, I would think that like, all right, Mr. D's an investment, dog. I mean, last time you rolled up, you rolled up in a fucking Honda Accord, dog, yeah, with the, the fucking, Accord. with the with the, with the the motherfucking sunroof, dog, and some spinners, dog, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the spinners, I'm talking shit now, dog. <laughs> but it was a gangsta ass Honda Accord, dog, you know what I mean? Check it out, dog. You put a Baldy in a motherfucking Honda Accord, dog. You know what I mean? You better watch out with that Honda Accord, dog. You know what I mean? You still got that Honda Accord? Yeah, I do. 